What's up, Eagles Nation? What's going on, NFL World? How you doing, Division Rivals? This is Steven Heider with Gate City Sports Channel. The sports channel where the cerebral NFL fan comes for about 10 minutes of daily content. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever it is you get around to watching this again, once again, my name is Steven Heider, and this is Gate City Sports Channel. Guys, if you're new to the channel, I would love to add you to the community. If you guys could just hit that subscribe button, that would go a long way. And then number two to all my OG supporters. Hey, guys, you already know what I'm going to ask you to do. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. That's how we communicate with YouTube, so then YouTube takes the content and pushes that across the platform. We can grow the community. All right, y'all. Today's topic. Guys, look, I, I don't have the answers, man. I, I don't know what how his plan is. I don't. I don't. I don't know what his plan is, guys. I, I know I'm a person who normally has reason and can, and can help provide insight to things, but I, I don't understand what he's doing yet. I, I'm not saying how he doesn't have a plan. I'm saying I don't understand it yet. I don't. I just don't understand what the hell he's doing yet. Um, things got a little worse last night as you had guys like, look, I, was, I wasn't in on Chris Harris Jr. I thought that would be a mistake, but Chris Harris Jr. signed, and we found out the Eagles were interested, so we didn't go that route. Uh, Desmond Trufant signed, which is something I think is a, uh, that's a problem in my opinion. Uh, the guys are coming off the board at corner, guys. This is not good. In my opinion, my opinion is it looks like the Eagles are going after Darius Slay. And my, my guess is they're going to trade for Darius Slay. But my thing is, I mean, I don't think the Eagles are going to get a first round pick for Darius Slay because he's 30 years old, basically. Well, he'll be 30 pretty soon. He's 29 ish, somewhere in that area. And, you know, he's on a one year contract. It's, he's on a one year deal left on his contract. Um, it's not something you trade away a first round pick for. With that said, it pro you know, if I had to take a best guess to estimate, I would say probably a second and a fourth to get him away. Second and a fourth for Darius Slay. Hey, it's not bad value, but in a draft that's loaded with players, I don't know if we should be expending a second and fourth round pick when you had guys on the board like Desmond Trufant, who is 29, 30 years old himself. I don't think he's quite as good as Darius Slay, but he's not that distant from him. To me, it's just a it, it just seems like bad decisions being made. And then we look at linebacker guys. I don't know what how he's waiting for. But you better start putting pen to paper because the options are getting pretty bare. Uh, let me just read you the names of the guys who have come off the board. Joe Schobert, he's gone. Kyle Van Noy, he's gone. Dante Fowler Jr., gone. Corey Littleton, gone. Blake Mar Martinez, gone. Uh, Mario Addison, gone. Jamie Collins, gone. Carl Nassib, gone. Nick Kwiatkowski, gone. Uh, Devon Kennard, gone. A.J. Klein, gone. Christian Kirksey, gone. Uh, Tyler Matkovich, gone. Kyler Freckrell, gone. Camus Grugier-Hill, of course, gone. Kevin Pierre-Louis, gone. Bruce Irvin, gone. Landon Roberts, gone. Thomas Davis, gone. Dylan Cole, also gone as he resigned. All right. That's a lot of names, guys. You can see it. I, I don't know what he's waiting on. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know. I do know you better go get players because that's a position of need that... <laughs> You know, obviously, I think we're going to be hitting it in the draft, but I don't know that the draft alone is enough to fix, you know, all the problems you got there. I mean, I'm just going to be real with you. I, I don't think it is. And you still got guys on the board who are decent football players. I mean, my number one overall target at this point would be Devondre Campbell. You, know, you got Devondre Campbell from Atlanta. You got Michael Kendricks from Seattle. You got Alex Ogletree from the Giants. I mean, past that, guys, you got uh, Camille Correra from Tennessee, who I think is a, a decent player. You got Reggie Ragland from Kansas City. I mean, it gets pretty bare past that, man. You get, you know, Jake Ryan and Darren Lee. Jake Ryan out of Jacksonville, Darren Lee out of Kansas City. I, I mean, there's still players on the board. I mean, there's some young guys like Elijah Lee from San Francisco. Um. But the thing is, is like the two best players on that board have pretty major questions here. I mean, Devondre Campbell is very good against the run. He's a very good run stopper for his size. He's, you know, he's got a little athleticism to him. He's, he's a fast kid. He wasn't the greatest against the pass. So, I mean, you're going to have to develop this kid in pass defense because he gave up, I want to say something like 80 some percent of completions. I mean, I do still think Devondre Campbell. This probably wouldn't cost you what Joe Sherbert and some, you know, Corey Littleton and, and Blake Martinez got. But at the same time, I don't think he's 
as good as Joe Sherbert. He's nowhere near Corey Littleton. He's probably slightly better than Blake Martinez. Maybe, uh, I wouldn't say he's better in the run defense than Blake Martinez. Well, no, I'd say he is. He may not have as many tackles as Blake Martinez, but I think he's a better range. He has better range than Blake Martinez does. And Devondre Campbell and Blake Martinez both struggle pretty, you know, pretty mightily in pass, you know, defense. Um, but, you know, Devondre Campbell is an outside linebacker. Michael Kendrick is an outside linebacker. You know what I mean, guys? If you're looking inside linebacker, you got Alex Ogletree, who makes some sense. Um, I, I, you know, I could see the Eagles going out and getting Alex Ogletree to, to, to you know, come in here and, and push players. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> you got to bring some competition in at the, at, at the very minimum here. I mean, Alex Ogletree is a starter if you bring him in, but you, you get what I'm saying, guys. Jake Ryan is an inside linebacker. He would make some sense, guys. Uh, you got Neville Hewitt, who's an undersized inside linebacker with a lot of athleticism. That would be intriguing. Reggie Ragland is, is a pretty solid, you know, he, he'd be a pretty solid player there to add. Um, Camille uh, Carrera is probably the guy that you're going to hear the most mentioned just because Tennessee wants him back, you know, badly. He hasn't had a lot of opportunity to start, but when he has played, he's been pretty good. I just, I, I don't know where the Eagles go, guys. I mean, you, you got to go pluck somebody out of here pretty soon. You know, Michael Kendricks, who I would say is your number two option at linebacker. I mean, to be quite frank about Michael Kendricks, he's facing a legal matter. You, you know, he's facing a legal matter, and I, ble- I believe he blew his ACL in December. So... Not, you know, I, I do think you could take a guy like Michael Kendricks and sign him on a prove it deal. But if Michael Kendricks faces a substantial jail sentence or suspension, I don't, you know, who knows what the hell he's going to get for this. Um, you know, that's got to be in the back of your mind as well. Although I think the player, the players would, he'd be the best player on the Eagles have had since Michael Kendricks was an Eagle. <laughs> um, I just, you know, I don't know where else the Eagles could go. I mean... You know, this list is getting short, guys. There's not a whole lot of guys left here. Uh, If I had to put them in in order, I would say Devondre Campbell would be my first priority if I was the Eagles. If you can't get him, then maybe a Camille Corre, an Alex Ogletree, a Reggie Ragland. I I think you got to go get a guy that's got experience playing in the league. And we need to add them to guys like TJ Edwards to bring in competition. You know what I mean? Things like that. Because right now... With the way that this position and group, you know, the way that we've built this roster currently by letting Malcolm Jenkins go, you're going to have to have three linebackers who can come in and play probably a good, at minimum, 33% of snaps, more than likely about 60 some percent of snaps. And I'm not too sure we got that on the football team right now. Like I said, I do look for the Eagles to go into the draft and pluck some guys out. They're going to have to. Um, at this point, guys, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't draft linebacker a little earlier than people think. I don't know what they're going to do at corner. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of, of trading. I just think you're you're wasting assets when there were players on the board that were comparable to the people you'd be trading for. I think you're wasting picks on 29-year-olds. I think it's, it's too late to be trading for a 29-year-old. You're talking about getting young and letting guys like Malcolm Jenkins go and at the same time turn around. And I know that 29 is still a three-year difference, but I mean, come on. Um, outside of linebacker, if I were to look at corners, guys, uh, just to give you some insights on today, people I keep my, my eyes on, man, I, you know, Brashad, uh, Bashad Breland out there in Kansas city is a guy that I would keep my eye on. Bashad Breland is, you know, he's a solid corner. Like I said yesterday, he's not something to write home about, but I think he would give you some flexibility. Um, I think he's gives you a respectable as you know, aspect to your defense, but I guess we'll have to see, guys. I mean, Tremaine Johnson is still available. You know, I'm I'm interested in Tremaine Johnson, just not at the contracts that he was getting with the Jets. I mean, I'm not paying that guy fucking $17 million, But, you know, if he's in that range with the Eagles we're looking to pay for, you know, under 10 mil, I think Tremaine Johnson's still a good football player. He's a big physical kid at 6'2", like 210 pounds. Like, he can match up against the big guys. He's certainly a lot better than guys that we've had here in the past, but problem with Tremaine Johnson, and this will always be in the back of your head if you have this kid, is he has been injured quite a bit recently. You know, I don't know, man. These decisions aren't easy. Darius Slay is certainly the best player that I've heard linked to the Eagles through, you know, and that would be via trade. But I just don't, you know, you're talking about giving up picks to go get them, and you have so many damn holes to go fill right now. 
Um, that's my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts. I, I definitely want to know your thoughts about Darius Slay in this pick aspect. Like I said, I like the player. I'm just concerned that we have so many holes to fill and we've, we've failed to fill them that trading away picks may not be the best strategy here. Uh, now, look, if it turns out to be like a ridiculous value for Darius Slay, like a third and a fifth, then yeah, make the damn pick. Then Of course you make that trade. If it's a second and a fourth, I still think the Eagles are probably going to make that pick, but I think they'll still they'll make that trade. But, I mean, it makes me a little, become a little questionable. It's not because of the talent level, and I still think it's a great value for Darius Slay. I just think that we need every pick we can get right now. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts past that. Let me know your thoughts on linebacker, guys. I mean, you got Devondre Campbell. You got Michael Kendricks, Alex Ogletree. You got Reggie Raglan, Camellia Correa. Cor- uh, Correa. You got uh, Jeremiah Lee from the 49ers. You got Navelle Hewitt from the Jets. Darren Lee from Kansas City. Jake uh, Ryan from Jacksonville. You know, let me know your thoughts there, guys. Is there any player in particular that stands out to you that you would like to sign? <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm jumping off here. You know what time it is. E-A-G-L-E-S. All right, y'all, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Guys, I, let's just wait it out. Something's going to happen. Um, I'm planning on doing a live today, so stay posted, and I'll post up the time and who my guest will be on the live. All right, y'all, peace. I'm out of here. Bye.